Top of the middle of the day to you boys and girls. We're at what I call the little kid woodlot because the logs are little. Um, I don't know. There's something in here. It's probably 16 inches in diameter maybe. Um, we're at about 20, no, we're 3,000 feet in elevation right here, I think, give or take. Maybe a little bit more. It's already 80 degrees, so we're quote-unquote in the cool of the morning, if you will. Um, so the air is pretty thin here, and it's pretty dry. So we're going to do a comparison between a standard version MS-200T, which is exactly the same one we used in the previous video when we were sparring against the um, competitor number two, which is going to be the... 2511T from Echo. This is a 25cc saw. I think the claim to fame is it's the world's smallest production chainsaw. It comes in at about, I think it's 2.3 kilograms or I think it's about 5.07 pounds, something like that. It's about two-thirds the size of the 200, so it's super small. One thing um, I have noticed, that thing oils really good. We just got it out of the shop. Uh, it's been insane wise We did a couple test cuts trying to get the carburetor somewhat dialed in. Um, seems like it's still got a little bit of a miss when we're sawing with it, which is good at this point since it's new and, like I said, it's fresh out of the shop. And we're giving up about 10 cc's in displacement to the standard version 200. Um, we're sporting the same 16 inch bar and chain in the, as in the first video. I haven't touched the chain at all. Um, the oiler works super awesome in the Echo for sure, so there's no problems there. Um, we're going to take a look at the chatter. I think I was investigating a little bit. I think part of it has to do with the fact that that saw is super lightweight, that saw being the Echo. Um, the 200 has a tendency to chatter a little bit as well. Um, part of the reason we can control that is it's got quite a bit more mass associated with it and we have the pistol grip so we can um, uh, do a little bit more with the leverage. The balance is not right over the top of the motor. It's back a little bit basically for the operator since you have one hand on the uh, handlebar in the front. But anyway, the tamarack we're sawing on is relatively hard. It's what I call quote unquote popcorn fart dry at this point. This stuff is from the winter before last. Um, tamarack is a relatively dense wood. It's the only conifer that I know of personally that loses its needles. Um, it's close to black walnut density wise, I guess, uh, weight per cord or whatever you want to call it. So it's relatively dense the wood itself. I know it's really hard when it's dry for sure. So we're going to give this mighty might test. We're going to give these saws a run for their money. Um, I don't think I have anything to add. Oh, we're going to do a bar change in the middle, so please bear with me. And we'll make a couple test runs and see where they're at. Okay, let's see, let's see how this works out, I guess. So the 200 is idling about 2,900. Top RPM's in the cuts about 9.5 or so. Let's do one run, just let it go through and see how it takes timing wise.
So this one's running about 11.5. You can hear it's still missing even when it's cutting. Um, I thought that was kind of impressive. There's some room for carburetor adjustment, but uh, being that it's fresh out of the shop, we're going to be running a little bit fat so the owner doesn't get a pile when he gets it back. Let's do the one run without any monkey business just to see for timing's sake how it compares. Now, we're moving right along for a saw that's 25 cc's and it's given up 10 cc's of displacement to the 200. So, this thing's kind of a bad little saw in a way. Uh, fully spring mounted so it's pretty smooth. That might be part of the reason why it vibrates or it chatters. The vibration coming through the chain equals chatter essentially. Um, it's spring mounted so it lets it start to hop a little bit probably part of the equation let's uh let's do one more run here and check this thing out a little bit <laughs> She's running about the same. We're going to do one more run, see if I can get this thing to be a little less chatterful. I think I discovered something just now. Yeah, 
I think it has to do a little bit with the lightweight. I think it has to do a little bit with the spring mounts. Um, we're still getting, like I said, chattering with the 200, so it can't just be the saw itself combination of the hardwood the chain but anyway um, that chain has one sharpening on it as well I got the stops kind of dialed in so that saw would handle it in stock form uh, I'm kind of curious to see what we could do with the chain uh, they usually take a few sharpenings to actually come around and start to cut well but that's kind of a segue I guess yeah, I don't know if you can see the size of that thing. Absolute baby saw compared to the 200, and the 200 is little. So anyway, thanks for watching this session. Have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth. And hopefully you're enjoying your summer.